Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so the bulls continue to march on. There's really no other way to describe it. We are grinding higher. We didn't quite touch the daily upper band, but we came pretty close. It's it's come back a little bit overnight. We're down three handles in Globex. Um, I would expect this round number 2,700 to get a test. But like I was saying yesterday and I was saying during the market update part of the webinar, um, which was very well attended, and thank you everybody that that, uh, that came out for that. You know, you can't really take the bears all that seriously until they can convert round number 2700. It's just basically a bunch of noise. Um, the issue for me today is, are we going to follow through, engage that upper Bollinger Band at, at 2718 basically, and then go on an upper band ride? Is the market capable of that? Um, we the, the bands are not compressed. They're not expanded. They're just kind of there. Um, and we've been on a pretty steady march higher since 2560. So the issue for me is, you know, can they, you know, can they go ahead and continue to make higher highs? So here on the hourly chart, you can see this this march higher. And then we've been in compression. We were in compression yesterday. The compression has been exacerbated overnight. And you can see, you know, the first hints of this market wanting to trade below the hourly mid band were yesterday near the close. This is a little bit of a close below. They got it back. We closed below uh, uh, at RTH. And you've seen, you know, basically flatlined overnight. Now we're seeing a little bit of a move to the downside. If the bears want a seat at the table, they need to seal off hourly mid band, seal off the dotted line here, which is daily pivot, and reach down and convert 2700, break yesterday's low, which is down at 2703.75, which they just tested at about 5 a.m. and couldn't get it done. So there's matching lows here, here and here. Um, so your Globex low is 0.375. Your RTH low yesterday is 0375. And back here, you've got 0375. So here, here, and here. So for whatever reason, and I never care about the why, 270375 is support until it's not. So if the bears want to go anywhere today, you convert 0375, you get below 2700, and then you start to try to, you know, shake the tree a little bit and reach to the downside and use all the compression you see in those hourly bands to your advantage. There's a big move baked in to those hourly bands. It could get very directional. Um, what the bulls want is for this to be a little bit of a head fake down to a band right up on the, uh, on the upper Bollinger Band. We will see. Um, as we come into the day, it was a very nice dip by yesterday, textbook dip by. It was great. You get short and get long. We pretty much had our day, you know, done and dusted by 10:30 in the morning, 11 o'clock latest. Um, I'll be interested to see if it uh, if it pulls in off the open, and if they come in and buy that dip. If they do rally, 2710, 2711 uh, uh, hourly mid band to uh, to daily pivot is going to be a big deal. If they can't get it past here, and then they break through the 0375, then you can get a little bit of a, of a solid red day to the downside. Lose this and establish 10 to 11 as support, it almost demands a reach up to 20. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. For those of you that attended the webinar, I sent out the recording last night. Uh, it'll be up on the website later. Uh, again, thanks everybody for attending. We're gonna do one in another two weeks. So on May 1st will be the next public webinar. Everybody have a fantastic day. Um, I'll be out on social later on. Um, until then, trade them well. Talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.